Hello everybody, my name is Robert and welcome back to another episode of the Vanilla Plus Survival Let's Play. Today, we've got some big things on our plate. Uh, I also need to address the fact that I did quite a bit of detailing off camera. So we're going to just kind of walk around the base and you can kind of look around and see what I've done with the place uh, while I talk about uh, what is in stock for today's video. I only have some of what's planned out for today. Um, but honestly, I'm trying to get two upgrades to my armor and I'll uh, tell you what that means in just a second here. I just want to quickly mention that this tree took the life out of me. <laughs> uh, this tree was pretty hard to make. Um, because I really suck with natural type things, but I think I'm getting better. Uh, I do think I am getting better. Um, you guys can tell me if you think this looks alright uh, in your opinion. Um, it looks like something is still off, but I'll continue to fiddle with it, continue to uh, add to it. But yeah, what was wrong uh, in the last episode was that I just straight up didn't have enough leaves to uh, fill out the canopy. So I fill it out the canopy with two to three times as many leaves as were originally there and uh, it's looking much better i've also uh, got pr this is pretty much like the block palette that i'm going to be working with uh for the natural overgrown look that i'm going for on these islands uh you know stone gravel cobblestone uh slab variants of those and then uh, leaves and various flowers uh, in this area uh it's pink blue and white flowers uh i'm thinking of doing different uh, flowers for different areas of, of grass like all this is gonna be sand and there's gonna be grass over here and then all this is gonna be sand and there's gonna be grass over here so I'm thinking over here is gonna be like a different flower colored uh, or a different colored flower area and uh, I have no reason in particular for doing that it just sounds cool uh, I also started cow farming which is super important um, because we're gonna get to what I was talking about earlier right now so uh, we can make our first full set of armor. It was very important that I was able to find leather armor in the shipwrecks um, because Honestly, otherwise getting enough leather to do this would be a massive pain in the butt, but um, In this vanilla plus series. I actually have to uh, Craft each armor set in order to get to the next so it's progressive armor So that means I need leather armor to get to the chainmail armor and I need chainmail armor to get to iron armor and iron armor to get to diamond Once we update to the 1.16 update um, It'll work perfectly fine because you already need diamond to upgrade to uh, The netherite armor. I don't know if I will if I will change that crafting recipe I might just keep it the way it is uh, but I'm not sure. We'll see when the time comes. Uh, basically, what this is meant to do is to slow down the early game in combination with the more difficult mobs. It makes you not want to go mining right away. It makes you want to stay on top of the world, uh, or on the top of the world, set up some basic farms, and, uh, you know, build up here for a little while. But now it is time for us to venture underground, so I have this full set and we've got projectile protection too that'll be greatly helpful now there is also another thing and it is that is loud <laughs> it is set bonuses so when you have a full set of a specific kind of armor on uh you will be granted a set bonus and in the case of leather armor it is a uh, health boost one uh and that basically means i get an extra two hearts uh chainmail is health boost two which means i get an additional four hearts and so on and so forth i will i believe iron is six hearts and diamond is eight uh, or a full health bar i'm not sure i don't really remember but chainmail is a little bit harder you actually need a golden apple to craft the chest plate and you need i think i need at least 12 iron ingots and i think i have 11 that's even worse i have 11 iron ingots and six iron nuggets I could have crafted one less iron pickaxe, and I could have had chainmail armor. Well, whatever. I'm pretty okay with this for now, because I do have some enchants that are uh, pretty valuable to me at the moment. So we will stick with that. Now, the important part here is that I don't die, because uh, dying and losing armor basically means I'm being set back to the, like, I'm, I'm getting sent back to nothingness because this is progressive so uh, let's say I have diamond armor and I died I would have to craft leather armor to craft chainmail armor to craft iron armor to get my diamond armor back so this makes things quite a bit more difficult of course uh, I will eventually have backup sets of armor at that point but uh, oh oh I actually have iron wow we can actually craft the next set of armor I believe it is something like this I think I'm pretty sure, uh, oh, that was loud. Okay, so I believe it should be something 
like this yes all right so we can actually craft the next set of armor it should be this as well for the chest plate uh now i also have golden apples because i am going to need those when i go underground but now that we actually oh that is not how you craft that now that we actually have some decent armor uh i might not need it as much um so we got extra uh, an extra four hearts uh, we had one iron ingot left over, nine iron bars. We'll save all of this stuff for later. And, uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. Now I can go underground and actually start gathering some loot. Uh, and once I'm done with that, I will come back to you guys and uh, give you a little update. All right, so I went mining, and I did get some good stuff. Uh, I've actually got six diamonds on me. As you can tell, I was using my shield a lot. Uh, we also took quite a bit of damage on our armor. Um, the mobs in this are no joke. I should really show them off at some point so that you guys know what I'm talking about, but I mean, they are pretty intense. So what I want to do now is just craft the immediate necessities uh, with my diamonds. Now, I want to be able to craft an enchantment table, so I'll have just enough if I craft these two items because I am going to be using shovels and pickaxes like crazy till we uh you know get really settled and get some actually good gear um unfortunately and let me show this really quick because you probably saw that i have over a stack of iron and you'd think uh that, that would be enough to make some iron armor but unfortunately it is quite expensive to make iron armor so until we get all of these things it's not really worth upgrading because we'll lose our bonus hearts um, same for the Enchanted Golden Apple. Oh, I actually need to switch these around. I'll probably switch these around between episodes. Um, chest plate's supposed to be here, and the Golden Apple is supposed to be up here. Just makes more sense that way. But, uh, yeah, we need an Enchanted Golden Apple, and we can craft them, although it's not showing it. I don't know if... Uh, no, I can't see it. But, um, you can actually craft them out of gold blocks. And how much gold do we have? Uh, yeah, we've got one gold block. So, yeah, we're one-eighth the way there. <laughs> uh, it'll be a while before we get that, but... Um, we need, like, another stack or two of iron anyway, so I'm not that close. And it did take me quite a while to get, uh, all of that iron as it is, because I have to go through the caves so slowly. Um, I actually found the diamonds from an underwater cave, which saved me a lot of time, so that will help a lot. But, I've got some ideas, as you saw, there are some signs littered around. Um, these signs are pretty much what I want to do, and I'm definitely gonna do something in this episode. I think I want to start with... Uh, the project that's all the way over there. Oh, the sign's not even loading in, loaded in. So there's a sign there that says something. Um, I've got a project for over there. We're going to start over there. Uh, but here, I'm going to actually make a bridge. I'm going to disconnect these two areas and make a bridge. And I'm actually doing that so that I can sail a boat right here. Uh, because I don't want to keep going around this. Um, and I'm going to make a boat dock over here. Uh, or I'm going to fix the shoreline and add a fishing dock and a boat dock, just like the sign says. Uh, inside, we also have a sign that I forgot to mention. Um, I want to talk about, uh, beacons and wolves. So when we get beacons, it's going to be awesome because actually, uh, with the data pack I have installed, that makes mobs harder. There are a lot of benefits to it. For example, beacons, uh, disallow any mobs, uh, I should say hostile mobs. It disallows any hostile mobs to spawn, uh, in the area. Uh, and I think the area is 128 by 128, which is gigantic, so super happy about that. And uh, hopefully we can get a beacon and, uh, you know, get everything prepared. But I also want to add that the Wither and the Ender Dragon are harder in this, so we'll see. Uh, here I'm going to build a mountain. Now, if you look down here, uh, there's this nice little overhang. I definitely want to do something with this and include all of this and make it look super cool. We'll see what I can muster up, but for now we're going to start with this project over here, which is, uh, it's going to be like a giant tree base, a uh, tree stump I should say, that would make a lot more sense. Um, so I'm going to flatten this area a lot more and I'm going to make a giant tree stump and it's going to be hollow. Uh, as if it was uh, a very old tree that had died long ago. And inside that tree, I am going to build a uh, multi-level farm, possibly even going underground. I'm not totally sure. Um, you know, I just have the idea. I haven't actually built anything out yet. Uh, for example, I actually built that bridge in a, a creative world, so I know exactly how the bridge over here is going to be. And I'm probably going to use, like, the same bridge design several times over in this area, because, I mean, this is an archipelago, uh, or... I don't even know I said that right, um, but it's just a chain of islands, right? So I'm going to have to connect them in some way. So I'll probably go with the general design of the bridge that I made uh, for all of them. But yeah, we'll get right started. We'll get started right on this, right started. Uh, we'll get started right on this, and uh, I hope it comes out good.
Pretty nice from afar. Uh, honestly, I'm pretty happy with how the project overall came out. Um, I feel like the stump is honestly a little bit short, but I do think it worked out good. Um, I decided to model it out of dirt before making it out of wood, and I'm really happy I did that because the shape wound up uh, being really good. Uh, I enjoyed this project quite a bit, and uh, also <clears throat> it wound up being a little bit small on the top level, so. I wound up making it a few levels, and I haven't really added anything down here yet, because uh, I don't really need that much farming uh, yet. But I will be expanding upon this uh, eventually, probably off camera. Um, I don't have any potatoes or carrots yet, so uh, I cannot plant those. But when I do, be sure that I will be planting those. So, uh, next episode, I think we're going to be focusing on uh, making a mountain in this area, working on terraforming this. And I'm also going to... Uh, make that bridge and I'm probably gonna make an enchanting room because as you can see I went and got some obsidian and uh, I started enchanting but I ran out of lapis because I don't have like any lapis um, but I also wanted to quickly take the time to mention that uh, I'm pretty much gonna be providing lore for my uh, towns and my builds in this series uh, and you guys can always suggest lore if you want but lore is basically like a backstory like a reason for why things are here and at the moment i'm thinking um this area uh this entire area probably the entire flower forest archipelago uh, is gonna be um pretty much like an elven settlement um everything's gonna be very intertwined with nature and low tech so i'm probably not gonna do anything fancy with redstone um, unless it's like completely hidden and then I just, you know, uh, played off as if it's uh, something like a magic circle or something. But um, there's not going to be like any high tech stuff here. It's all going to be nature intertwined uh, as elven people typically tend to be in myth mythology. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going to be going for in this type of area. Uh, just very natural, very uh, elven, you know, like an elven village or something. Uh, and uh, it should turn out pretty cool. Uh, over there, I'm still thinking about what exactly the lore should wind up being, but I'm going to continue to obviously expand upon uh, the lore and the ideas and, you know, be more specific than just, uh, oh, elves live here, so it's natural and stuff uh, as time goes by. But uh, you guys can always help me improve upon that and suggest stuff yourself. And the reason why I do that is um, it makes things a lot easier uh, to come up with at least for me in a creative process to give things a reason for them to be there instead of just making things like I'm, I'm going to make buildings that don't really serve any purpose um, a little bit later in the series. Not right now. Like, for example, that serves a purpose because it's my farm. Uh, this serves a purpose because my main base, but I'm obviously going to make like filler uh, houses. But the reason that I'm making them is because I'm, uh, you know, acknowledging that this is like an elven village. Uh, so that's personally why I go with lore and stuff. I'm also probably going to be adding a couple of data packs uh, very soon that do a couple of things. Like I'm thinking of adding timber, which basically makes it so if you chop the bottom of the tree, the whole thing comes down and uh, stuff like that. But I think for today, that is where I'm going to end off this episode. <clears throat> Pretty happy with how everything turned out. And, uh, you know, I think in the future, this is going to be a really cool area. You know, I'm still trying to figure out how exactly to work the land here. 
Um, like, should I expand upon these islands? Should I make them smaller? Not exactly sure. I'll figure it out as time goes by. Um, I'm hoping in the next episode I can really get some uh, upgrades to my gear, get iron, uh, diamond. is going to be quite a ways off, but uh, I think iron would be really nice. And uh, I think if I could get some diamond tools or some more diamond tools and some good enchantments, then I'm going to be going for that. I'm also going to be making an enchanting room uh, in the next episode. But until then, I hope you all have a great day. I will see you guys next time, and goodbye.